hosted by Lee Cave. Am I the butthole? For telling my sister-in-law's husband that she used to be a sex worker. Burner account for obvious purposes. So, my sister-in-law, let's call her Sarah, has always been kind of mysterious about her past. She has been married to my brother for a few years now and they seem happy together. But I always had this feeling that there was something she wasn't telling us. Well, a few months ago, I ran into one of Sarah's old acquaintances at the party. They had a few too many drinks and ended up spilling the beans. Sarah used to be a sex worker. Apparently, she had done it for a few years before she met my brother, but had kept it a secret from him and the rest of the family. I was shocked when I heard this and didn't know what to do. I didn't want to cause any drama, but I also felt like my brother had a right to know. So, after much deliberation, I decided to tell him. Needless to say, my brother was devastated. He felt like Sarah had lied to him and betrayed his trust. He confronted her about it, and they ended up having a huge fight. Sarah is now saying that I had no right to tell my brother, and that it was her past and not my place to share it. But I feel like my brother had a right to know, especially since Sarah had kept it a secret from him for so long. Am I the butthole? For telling him the truth? And now to the comments. A comment from Kakanikorichirashiai. You the butthole. You should have spoken to her and asked her to inform your brother if you were worried. You don't know what drove her to sex work or what kind of mental space she was at the time. If she's tried not to talk about it, it's probably not a time she is proud of. You said they were happy together. You should have given her the chance to tell himself and been empathetic as to why someone would want to hide a past like that. People change. A comment from Seller 63 why does the title say sister-in-law's husband and not just brother? Luminous Lodge commented. Asked. Sarah used to have a J-O-B. Everybody clutch your pearls and have your Bibles handy. Sarah didn't betray his trust because she didn't even if ignore him. Sex work is just work. You, your brother, and the rest of society need to stop being so embarrassingly archaic and prudish. On top of you being a busy body. To you and your brother both, you the butthole. May Sarah restart with better people elsewhere. Edit to everyone saying he had a right to know. I'm sorry I didn't get the memo that we had to bring a resume with a list of past jobs to each new relationship. Everyone has their erotic past and everyone has past jobs. But because her erotic history and employment history crossover, it's a problem that he does not know. Unpack that. A comment from Revolutionary Fix 683. People saying why Tia are delusional to me. Sex work is something that should be disclosed prior to a relationship to avoid these very situations. It's a deal breaker for many people and the husband has a right to know. Just saying it's in her past as if that is an automatic gotcha is not the slam dunk people on this sub make it out to be. People in this sub bring up history of cheating as a deal breaker. Would you say the same thing as it happened in the past? While sex work and cheating are different issues, the premise remains the same. It baffles me that people are angry that OP is providing a husband with relevant info that he should have had access to. OP's brother had the right to make an informed decision, and not being comfortable with past sex work is perfectly fine. OP is not the butthole. Edit, spelling, and grammar. A comment from Parsimonia Salad. Not the butthole. Your loyalty is to your brother, and this secret seems big enough that he should have known it. The only other option you had was to tell her that he knew and to give her a chance to come clean first. But that was required. To the next post. Posted by Isolated Wife Am I the butthole for not wanting to share my daughter's birthday? So I really don't think I am the butthole here. My sister lately has been taking it upon herself to organize family dinners for quality time. She is newly married, so I don't know if it's a nesting thing or what. Saturday is my daughter's birthday and I organized a party for her. She is turning four and I invited everyone. My sister decided to organize a dinner right after the party for Mother's Day so she does not have to, in her own words, drive all that way twice. She lives 30 minutes away. Anyway, she made the reservation. She told us. I said, oh, sorry, no, that's my daughter's birthday, and even if her party is over at that time, we are going home and my daughter is going to enjoy her entire birthday. 
She's four, so I'm sure she will want to go home and open all her new toys. And they don't need me there if they want to do their Mother's Day time with our mom the same day. I can see our mom on actual Mother's Day. For some background, they do this a lot. My sister's son gets the whole family at his soccer games, but no one comes to my daughter's gymnastics. I made big plans for Easter, which included inviting them to an Easter fair specific to kids with sensory issues. My daughter is autistic. They showed up late, missed the entire hunt, and left after only a few minutes because everyone made plans for the zoo last minute and then guilted me for not wanting to go. They treat my daughter like being with all. An autistic means she is incapable of getting her feelings hurt or that she's not able to see when they are doing this. She has babysat for me literally barely a handful of times. When her son was little, I watched him constantly while she went out. My in-law's family knew him better than her in-laws because I was always forced to either bring him with me or cancel plans. She left me with him after I said no at my own bridal shower because she had a date with her now husband. Anyway, it turned into a huge argument with my family. My sister left the family group chat. I got called selfish by literally everyone. Apparently my sister was making some kind of announcement at this dinner and her husband was busy on actual Mother's Day. I said, I don't care, pick a day that's not my kid's birthday, I am busy the whole day, not just the length of the party. No one is speaking to me now. Unlikely no one is coming to my daughter's birthday at all. And now to the comments. Terrible Strawberry have commented. Not the butthole. There is nothing wrong in wanting your daughter to celebrate her birthday instead of a Mother's Day party where she will be treated in a not a good way by her family. You yourself said they don't treat her like a four-year-old should be treated. Little Mackie Teen commented. And the butthole. It sounds like your sister wants to control everything. Good job standing your ground for your daughter. It sounds like she is already not being treated well. Continue to love and protect her. That's all you can do. Runs with scissors likes to add. It's possible that this is a long established pattern and that you're breaking it by prioritizing your family above your sister. Your sister is the entitled child now adult and she gets what she wants. And your family is punishing you for not going along with what she wants. It may have little to do with your daughter. Either way, your family comes first and your daughter's birthday is more important than your sister being inconvenienced by having to drive 30 minutes. What family does not put a four-year-old's birthday above a whiny crone woman, anyway? Orange Spice Ninja likes to add... Not the butthole. Good for you. A comment from Hades Poppy. Not the butthole for wanting to give your daughter a whole day to celebrate her birthday. And besides, she is four. After her party, she is going to be wiped out, amped up, or both, and almost certainly not in any shape to be going to a restaurant for a nice meal. Heading home for some time with her new toys in her own space with only her people around her and where she can pass out if she needs to from all the stimulation is really going to be what she needs. Is what I was going to say before I saw that she was autistic, now I want to say it twice because that goes double for Nora's pissy kids. Angela likes to add Not the butthole. You're a good mom. Smoking Gas likes to add Not the butthole. Just had a convo on another post where we were talking about child neglect from parents, but other family affects them as well. Your daughter's feelings should be all that matters to you. Ask her what she wants to do and go from there. Either way, I don't think you are involved because you're looking out for her. And if no one shows up for her birthday party, if I've got this right, the parties are on two separate days, then they're the assholes. Support should be shown to all family as much as possible. To the next post. Posted by throw weight 152,829. Am I the butthole? For yelling at my girlfriend after she added my son? My M31 girlfriend M29 of a year met my son M13 a month ago. He warmed up to her pretty quickly and she started frequently spending the night. My son's best friend M14 stayed the night Thursday night since they didn't have school and my girlfriend didn't have work so she was home with them. Since then, I noticed he had been quiet, but he wouldn't tell me what was wrong. Tonight at dinner, she asked my son if there was anything he wanted to tell me. He didn't reply, so she literally says, Do you think your dad would like to know you are gay? He immediately burst into tears and left the table. I told her to get the F out of my house and never talk or go near my son again. 
As she was walking out trying to apologize, I told her she had no right to do that to him at all before slamming the door on her. I found my son in his room sobbing. It took a bit of coaxing for him to open his door and when he did, he apologized. He apologized for being gay and begged me not to hate him. I reassured him it'll always love him and got him to calm down. It turns out she caught my son kissing his friend goodbye Friday afternoon and they've been a couple for about five months now. Two hours ago, I've gotten Facebook messages from both her dad and brother calling me a terrible person and overreacting. They told me I had no right to treat her like that or break up with her over something so minor. I decided not to argue and just blocked all three of them. As I've calmed down, I've started to feel bad. She was crying pretty hard as I yelled, but I didn't care at the time. I was just so mad she revealed something so personal that he wasn't ready to share. Am I the butthole? Did you guys ever experience something similar? Feel free to share. And now to the comments. A comment from Dawn JD7. Not the butthole. Good job and you're a great dad. The way he was sobbing it sounds like she made him believe he was wrong for being gay. He did the right thing by protecting your child from that. Lisbajan commented. You are so not the butthole that you can't even see your buttholeville from where you're standing. Your son is incredibly lucky to have a dad whose first instinct is to love and protect him. He now knows that he is your first priority and anyone else is a distant second. Not only that, but you may have saved his life. From the Trevor Project website. Research suggests that among LGBTQ youth, only one third experience parental acceptance, with an additional one third experiencing parental rejection, and the final one third not disclosing their LGBTQ identity until they are adults. Cats Wise et al. 2015. Another study found that LGB young adults who report high levels of parental rejection are eight times more likely to report attempting unaliving and six times more likely to report high levels of depression. Ryan et al. 2009. You are a hero, no one but whole. Hug your son tight, you are in this together. No Pi 379 likes to add. Not the butthole. It was very callous of her to do that to your son. Opening up about sexuality is a very personal thing which should be done at the discretion of the person. Not only did she rob him of that discretion, she put him on blast in a delicate age, might I add. The euphoric triple likes to add. I am just so in shock that your ex and her family thought this would be okay. I am firmly in the love is love camp and highly support your decision to stand by your son here. F her feelings. She had no right to out your son like that. I am extremely happy he is a grizzly bear of a dad willing to go on the attack for him. It's not even a contest here, OP, if you're by FAR, not the butthole. And I will say it again, louder for the people in the back, uh, her feelings. To the next post. Posted by Painting with Blood. Am I the butthole for refusing to buy a different meal for a client of the shelter I work at? I work at a sober living facility. There are about 12 people living there right now. The house charges rent to live there, but offers a sober environment for people recovering. I am not a therapist or social worker. I am there to supervise and drive people with DUI to appointments. We have a company car. I'm told by my boss not to offer to buy people things. They have jobs. The house provides staples like shampoo and other items. I do not spend a dime of my pay on people living here. My brother went to the same facility a few years back. He said it changed his life. So he has offered to provide wings and pizza for everyone once a month. He works at the pizza parlor, so this is something he worked out with his boss, who was his sponsor in AA. We recently got a new client, Alberta 34 female, who hates pizza. She got upset that I brought pizza plus wings and nothing else. She asked if my brother would provide another type of food. She wants me to bring her something else on the night the pizza is there. I told her this was not happening. She approached me another time. She said she feels like I hate her because I won't change the meal provided during our movie night. Alberta, it is not fair to feed the clients and not me. Me, that is not happening. This is an offer treat. You work, you can order yourself something else. Alberta, I feel left out. Me, the offer is free pizza. If you don't like pizza, then you don't like pizza. 
don't ask me again to buy you food. Alberta, it makes me feel like no one wants me around. Me, when you have a bad attitude, most people don't want you around. Alberta, you can't talk to me like that. Me, don't ask about the pizza again. It is what it is, and you cannot decide what is donated or not. Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. Smock and Gus commented. Not the butthole. This is a free service your brother is offering. She is a person in need of recovery and support. Nothing else besides the basics food, clothing, bed, etc. If she is not comfortable with the free meal your brother is giving then she can eat the meal the shelter is offering. It's not yours or your brother's obligation to pay for a separate meal. All Thicket and Snuggles likes to add. Not the butthole. You were told clearly by your boss to not buy them things. You are following the rules. This person is acting as if they are entitled to the meal rather than it being a gift. Lady Moore and Athetine comment. Not the butthole, your brother is providing free pizza. I get if you don't like pizza, but she should not be making it such a big problem. She can go and find something else to eat or go out and get something for herself. I'm sure if your brother stopped providing it altogether because of her, the other people in the house would be upset at her. This is not something for her to be complaining about. It's free, take it or leave it. Passion to you likes to add. Not the butthole, people keep focusing on you calling her out for a bad attitude, but she's an adult, so it's not like this was a four-year who isn't fully aware that their actions slash attitude affect whether or not people will want to be friends with them. Plus, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't many sober living facilities focus on being honest with clients rather than sugarcoating things to them? Again, she's an adult and should be able to handle someone calling her out on her attitude, especially if everyone agrees she is a bad one. That does not mean she's being targeted, it just means she needs an attitude change if she wants people to actually like her and include her more. A comment from Abject ID minus 7804. Not the butthole. Pizza is what's offered. When she is on the other side, she can contribute to future tenants whatever she wishes. Don't ask me, Chick commented. He has offered to provide wins and pizza for everyone once a month. Your brother is awesome. Not the bad hole. The food is a donation. It's like going to a pantry and demanding a different type of food than what is being given out. You could have been nicer about it, but the point was made. Tell one of the supervisors about her complaint and let them deal with it. To the next post. Posted by Wangeshi Maes. Am I the butthole for blocking my wife? I want to preface this by saying I am a neurosurgical resident in a final year 28 male and my wife is 27 F. Goes without saying that residency is brutal and in this line of work I am basically working 24 slash 7. The catch is I only have one year left before becoming an attending and I plan to work significantly less than I am now. Herein lies the problem. My wife has always missed my presence due to my work, but recently she's been watching more relationship TikToks. One of the things she's stumbled upon is calling you so throughout the day and saying something cute like I love you etc. By several times a day I mean fat approximately. Now, when I am on call I have to be available to go into emergency surgery for patients with strokes and I often receive calls from other specialities in the hospital hence my phone is on rain. Now I was extremely busy and my wife kept calling me like 9 times and I was busy seeing patients at the time. Obviously I can't silence it as a doctor may want to speak to me. So I really had no choice but to block her number temporarily for around 4 hours. Afterwards, I was hit with a barrage of insults about how poopy of a husband I am, etc. Am I the butthole? Surely sick patients take priorities than words of affirmation in this situation. I can't even D&D the phone as other doctors won't be able to call. And now to the comments. Also, Ego624 likes to add. Not the butthole. I am sure you're very aware of the stereotypical jokes directed at neurosurgeons who didn't just spring out of nowhere, they have some solid basis in reality. You need to make sure you're not completely neglecting your wife to fulfil your other admittedly very rigorous and tiring obligations. That being said, your wife needs to be more understanding of the fact that you're a freaking surgeon and can't be at her beck and call the whole day. A happy medium exists, you two just need to find it. A comment from Accomplished to 1611 can't she send texts and you respond when you get a minute? 
OP commented. Yeah, it's a great suggestion. Don't know why I didn't think of it. Warning savings 5106 likes to add. Not the butthole. She needs to grow the hell up. My father was chief of staff, and my mother called him at the hospital maybe five times during his career. He would call every day about 30 minutes before he left to come home. What is so pressing that she can't wait until you get home. People amaze me when they expect Indeed to drop everything for some asinine reason. Prize 91 commented. Not the butthole. Surface level this just sounds like every TikTok that goes on about different love languages. You have a job to do. What would you do if your workplace slash residence gave you a pager and had a no-forms policy while working restricting your access? Would you consider yourself the butthole if this occurred? A comment from Huge Pewd 8244. Not the butthole. If your wife cannot understand this now, she won't understand this for your career. That is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. If you want more of this content, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.